And my name is Raya. I'm from North Carolina originally. Um, I've been making music for like three years now. But off and on, you know how you first start out and you get like two studio sessions throughout the whole year? That was like my first two years. So it's been time right. playing beats off my phone, writing in my notes. I got over like 3,000 notes. It's just right. lyrics. Oh, right. So, uh, hey, your birthday just passed, yeah, right? So July 1st. 24, Happy, birthday. Happy belated birthday, King King Cancer. You hear me? Yes, sir. Exactly. This is gonna be your first project you dropping? Nah, it's gonna be my second one. What was the first one called? It's called, it's called Ferris Wheels. It's on all platforms. It's called Ferris Wheels. Right, right. Would you please with the uh, the the feedback from that job? I would, but I'm very hard on myself, and I kind of. I compare myself to, to a great, like a Drake, Drake and stuff like that. So I'm really obsessed with the, the sound and engineering. And I always want to improve the side of this vo the vocals and uh, experimenting with uh, certain dynamics with my voice and on um, certain beats and stuff. Flows and right, 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 right. Like, as far as like, like your creative process, what's your creative process? I write a lot, but honestly, when I go in, I go off the top. Off the dome. Yeah, off the dome. Nine, nine. Right, right. Hey, nine. Dive in the building. Uh, SJ Game family, family orientated. You already know. Like, like, how much is a uh, dime like uh, a muse for you? Like, inspiration. Honestly, I think God sent her from heaven, like as an angel in my life. It was all I agree. And just for what I want to do for my career, she she supports it 100, percent and I appreciate her for that. And it's more right with me and her too. But that's just like our, our, our bond. That's what keeps like. That's what keeps everything moving, glued together like it's supposed to be. I feel it. Same way, bro. That's how I feel about it. She's been a supportive force in my life since I was a young boy. I'm 39 now, but I started making music when I was like 16. Oh dang! And I, like, I, I she stumbled across my music when I was around like 20, 21, and ever since then she's been very like supportive and inspiration to my life. So I, I, I advise you to stick with her. You hear me? <laughs> I got no. Yeah. At all. Bro, I ain't got no choice. At all. <laughs> like, do you have any passions besides making music? I used to play varsity basketball, but man, I devote my life to music. Right. Uh, that's what I really do. At, 20, at 21, I decided that. In 24, I don't regret it. Right, right. So, like, far as therapy, like, do you look at music as therapy? Oh, uh, yes, sir. 100%. I do. 100%. Right. Right, right. I, I have to make. Like, I have to make a song and just play that all day, all week, and just realize, dang, I could have said this ad a little stronger. I could have came harder with this line. I could have said this this B word. You know what I'm saying? Just putting emphasis on everything. I I really study my own craft a lot. Right. And I don't music right now, so I just told myself I'm playing straight my music and just dissecting it, you know? All yeah. Music, like, they keep you from separate, like other artists when you get in your own zone, you feel me? <laughs> What'd you say? They keep you from sounding like other artists when you get in your own zone. Yeah, and I think I've always been like, like myself and never wanting to follow the crowd. Like even in class, I used to like come up with like little funny words and people would repeat and the, the teacher would get mad and be like, go outside the class, you got the whole class saying something you done made up yeah. and all that. Yeah. And all that so, yeah. so you always so you always been a trick yeah, Influencing. Right. How many tracks was on your first project? I want to say like 12, 13. Right. If for 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 a, for a first time listener that never heard you before, like what would you just which one song would you su suggest them to listen to? 5 a.m. in Winston. 5, 5 a.m. in Winston. A, what number is that? Or that's on the album? Yeah, I can't even tell you which one it was. I want to say five or six. Y'all got to check that joint out. Anybody ain't coming in, leave a leave a question for my guy, Rael. Uh, Right. What made you stick with that name? Uh, it's my first name, and it's unique. So my mama gave it. I mean, I looked it up. It's um, it's it, it represents the sun god, I think, and it's like a Greece. It's like a Greek boat or some other stuff too. So I, I researched my name before. It's cool. That's amazing, bro. There's a couple young, uh, yeah, a couple young people I, I like hear the song over here. They they going crazy over that John. They think that you should come to Philly, man. And like, you ever heard of D Sturdy before? I never, I never heard of it, but I'm willing to come. There's a, time. There's a couple artists that we think that 
if you introduce that to them, they, they pop it in the city right now. But if they heard that joint, they probably want to remix that joint with you. Like, you know, it's all about con con connecting and collaborating. Real so, and yeah. honestly, and honestly, I love that song, but it's like, every time I hear it, I'm like, man, I can go back in the studio on this. Right. Like, I would, I, I, if, you, if you want to, you should, though. Like, I ain't going to hold you. If you can make it better, keep on, because that beat, you and that beat go together well. Exactly. Appreciate that. Exactly. I, really, I hear something like, man, I can really kill it, kill it. And bring it yeah. to life. I'm glad people getting the image that um I'm trying to you know give and portray. So, right, right. Like, do you have anybody you want to collab with in the industry? Drake. For Drake, sure, for sure. Um, Drake, SZA. I also would say um The Weekend. I say yeah, that's it, Nikki. Uh, probably, I think, I think me and YB, I think we both got like a triple, a triple, triplet pattern flow. I right. think we'll go on something as well. Um, yeah, people like that. Like, who, who is your like top five inf like influences coming out of uh, North Carolina? Like, who, who, to you, in your opinion, who is the top five? Growing uh, uh top five, I don't have a top five out of NC. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. It ain't that many that came from there, right? Right, besides the baby. The top five overall, though. Uh, the baby, J. Cole, that's it. And the right. North Carolina. Overall, I say Drake, Biggie, Big L, Adele, um, and Price, and probably, um, probably SZA. Yeah, SZA don't go down as a goat. I like her a lot, man. <laughs> SZA fire. She is Scorpio, too. <laughs> yeah, shout out <laughs> Scissor, yo. Like, if you had any genre of music, right? Like, yeah. when you enter the room, like any genre, like that could be your theme song when you enter the room. What would it be? Not your own music, though. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I, I really do. Uh, if I come in the room, I'd probably be like Free D Dog. About why I be it's just the energy. It'll get me like, like up. I got, I got you. Check that joint out. I know my nephew probably know that joint. He should be in. Probably, probably be that or or over by Drake. How that joint go over, over? Till it's over. Till it's over. Oh Let's yeah, that's fire. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Would you say that joint about why I be called again? A uh, free D dog. I, it ain't even about what he's saying. It's just the it's just the energy, like the beat, just the the ad libs in the back. It's just uh, you feel me? It gets you turned. Right, like yeah, I... right. What, what, like what, like do you do you think you want to be independent or would you sign to a major label? Both, I do both. It, if the if the deal is worth it, if the deal is worth it, and if the right. uh, what, perks and stuff is worth it, yeah. But not right. no three sixty, not no three sixty. What about what about acting and modeling? You interested in acting? Absolutely, absolutely. I grew up. My first love was wanting to be on Disney Channel and stuff like that. Damn. My, my mom, she took me to a, a acting, a acting a script place like with like Disney Channel and stuff for trying out, and I got the part. But when it comes to behind the scenes of paying for the stuff, she couldn't afford it during the time, so I kind of felt bad. And I started playing basketball. My dad played college, so I love basketball a lot. So I played varsity. I didn't make the middle school team, but I, I made varsity you know, every year. I see that your story, you was just at a major like event. What was that about? Um, that was the Authentic Empire event. Um, I'm close it's friends. Yeah, I'm close friends with C three and my producer Reigns, and they done work with Lil Tyler before, you know, the uh Jada Wada or Ruby that dude from uh, Florida. So I've been locked right. in with them. they invited me to ro uh Rolling Loud this year and stuff too. So I'm trying to see if I can get down there this month. So Right. Rolling Loud is definitely like the next big step for you. You know what I'm saying? Like how close you how close you are to finishing your new album? It's basically almost done. It's an EP I'ma drop. I'ma name it Eventful Conversation. Fire. And I'ma drop it. Thank you. I appreciate that. Eventful conversation. And Eventful Conversation. It's crazy. Yeah, Eventful Conversation. That's what I'ma name it. It just came to my head one day, like thinking about you just want to vent and it's in a conversation, or eventful conversation. You know so. Whoa. Like, if you could say one thing that people misunderstand about you, what would it be? My 
my wrestling face. <laughs> my wrestling face. I think sometimes people think I be in my feelings a lot or I'm thinking harder, but I do be thinking a lot. But I'm never too low. I think life isn't about being low. You got to be level or and inspire to be higher than that. You know what I'm saying? You'll never want to be down and out about nothing. Right. It's not going to stop for nobody. No one's special than the next, but you can definitely, you know, um, wrap around and lock in and build upon some qualities to stand out. But, you know what I'm saying? Right, That's right. You like the vibe hard naturally. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Natural vibes is everything. I don't like nothing for us. I can feel all that. I get jittery when stuff is just off. You feel me? Right. Like when it's all said and done, what you want to be known for the most, like in, in your music and in general? Just I was I was a unique soul. I was one of a kind for what I did, mm. and all of my art really displayed feelings that people can't vent out themselves verbally, and I was able to do that for them, like through my music. So I feel wow. like I'm an artist, a person that can vent to you through a song, like each bar is gonna like resonate with you, and each person differently. And I know I have a good voice too, so I just want to keep honing upon that and just keep building upon it and make it be meaningful, make it sound very, but the texture of my voice and how I come across the mic, I want it to be really resonated. You know, they really like remember it, like how you hear Drake or something yeah. like that. Yeah, like that's what I, like, I was about to ask you that, like as far as your, your voice, you got to sing like monotone and high pitch. Exactly. I like that. I like that. I like I like doing the uh, high pitch a lot, but the monotone a lot too. I don't know which one I like more. When did, when did you notice you could do both? When I, I don't know. I, I felt confident in the booth doing it already. Like, I know I can do that. So I tried it. And then once I feel yeah. like, and then at first, first, it started out as like a cry for help how I was doing my high pitches. Like, I would do a lot of emotional, like, lyrics with it because I was really doing wow. it. And I hear the pop, pop beats come in and the hyper pop, and I see how my voice is. Is matching well with it. I was like, I'm gonna keep doing this, like, and it, and it carries a lot of notes and the bar is longer. I can stretch out songs differently with it. It's funny you said the weekend. I got in fell in love with this series show he got out. I don't know if you've seen it, The Idol. I haven't seen it. Oh man, it's amazing. I've been watching it for the last three days, and it's, it's only four episodes. And it's one season so far. But that joint is that joint is amazing. I didn't even know he was gonna be such a good actor. He did great. I didn't even see it. I couldn't imagine him doing pretty good, though. Yeah, it's music-orientated, too. So I think you'll like that, John. It's called The Idol. They said that melodizing in your music is going to be a major effect in your music to the world. Facts. That's what that, that was my nephew right there. When he said he, when he first heard the song, he said, if you would have just kept rapping regular, everybody would have been like, this is just the regular joint. But when you started melodizing, he said you took it to another level. You know what I'm saying? And it it's going to get anybody attention. Street niggas, like females, they all going to adapt to that joint. That's why we got to push that, that single crazy, bro. Real rap. The gym. As soon as you play it, it move you. Man, that's crazy. Yeah, bro. And I'm, he didn't even know how fresh it was. He didn't know that you just made it or not. He just heard it and instantly jumped up. I'm like, you like this joint like that? He's like, yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that's crazy. Man. I knew I liked it, but I, I like the youth speak for itself, though. I, I mean, I can like what I like. Is I, I like a different kind of music. I like pop. I like hard hip hop. I could be all over the place. So when somebody zoom in on something that I like, I'm like, wow, how you know that was hot like that? Right. I like Ed Sheeran. And right. Like he said club dancing, the mill ticket. Oh, yeah, that's hard. I appreciate yeah. that. And it's funny. Where at? My favorite part of the What Made You Pick the Beat, I, I had made three songs that session. That was the last song I made, and I didn't finish it first. Like, I had came in on the beat. I had, like, 20 minutes left, and I got, like, half of the song done. I remember coming in. I was just, the lights were off. It was, like, 2 in the morning. I was, like, getting that to myself. It's the first step I need to take because I was going right. to do something. That, like, that was crazy. Yeah, I was just, yeah. I'm like, that, that, that start off, that was me. Like, right, that's <laughs> like stuff. Like, damn, I'm sorry. I'm going to just pause on everything. And I'm gonna get back to myself, and right. that's what I want to do first. <laughs> <It's> real <rare. laughs> like that was crazy, bro. That was that was real mature of him to say that, and it just showed a lot of artistry. You know what I'm saying? Like, if y'all know who I'm talking to, man, this is my man Rael, man. Get used to him. Follow him. Check out his music. Shout out Bill Collector just why, came in here. Why don't we just like, play so they can see what we talk about? 
Huh? Why don't we play this? No, no. I, 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 I'm going to do that at the end of the interview. Uh, oh, okay. Left you gonna left, left you gonna left you gonna come away and play while you're in the wheel. We already got it set up. Nah, dime. Solid D. You know I'm a little deadly. I got what? Get <laughs> Yo, no <laughs> Like what, 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 what can we look for from you in the future? Everything. Yeah. Everything the same thing. I gotta be a multiple a multiple amount of bags that I'm gonna be willing to carry just to get out. Yes, yeah, you yeah. him. I need to intersect and just let y'all know that he's very universal. His music is, um, is different, and he can go into different angles. And right, like, wow, and then like he just go in, like he just tell this whole story, like he wrote it, but he's just speaking it through the mic, and it's exactly. just he uses different cadences and coming at the right time, and it's it's dope. Like what I learned from. What I learned from this shit, man, when I first started, your influences, it's all about your influences. And you know, for him to look up to Drake, that's somebody to look up to because he's super versatile. You know what I'm saying? So it make you know to be versatile. That's what music is about. You know what I mean? Versatility. So, you know, you want to go in different pockets. You already know that. Except, you know, other artists, they just want to stay in one lane and just run you run it in the hole. Like, nah, you got to think out the box and do different things. You know what I'm saying? You do, man. Sometimes I do, like, my auntie catch me in the studio overthinking a lot because it's so, I swear, it is so many things that go through my head. So I think it's a point in time, like, last night was the first time I wrote in, like, two years. So I was at the house just bored, and I just started writing. And I'm like, dang, I'm I'm hearing the beat different from the speaker while I'm writing. I'm like, yeah, dang, I'm getting in pockets. That's crazy. Like, I'm saying a sentence, and, like, the, before the last two words, I'm, like, dragging it with, like, a tenacity, a tenacity in it. Like I don't know how to explain. You know, like you said is giving Philly anthem music what's controlling the world right now. Is music that people can dance to, and that is actually what you you doing. Not only can they dance to it, like you said, nephew, when I was talking to you about it, like everybody making that dance wave right now. But you actually you, that song, what you call that song? First of all, Fast Life. Yeah, Fast Life. You talking about? Real emotions in that joint. You're not just making people dance. You're talking about real shit. Why they dancing? Right. Yeah, you know I mean, like, and that's you know, you 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 you, you found the you found the fuel, you found the formula with that. Like, I think you should run with that before it, people gonna always try to copy. But you was the original. You was the originator. Thank you. I don't think I can be able to, be able to uh to copy it. I could because I didn't even know where I was going with the song. Right. Real rap. They gonna try to, bro. They always gonna try. I'm and that's what you. That's how. That's how you know you're changing the the, the, the culture when you got people trend setting. When you trend setting, you start changing how people come at music. Hey Amen. You're right. You gonna change their approach, and we need that. Like we need get people to start saying who they are in their music instead of trying to show off. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I, that's that's a bag of mine. I want to keep continue to uh to 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 the, to the, the I can't talk to developing right now. And um that's <laughs> once I get. I think I'd be pretty well off. That's that's my main thing I'm focused on. That right there you just said, honestly. So, good question. What would, what do you see yourself if you wasn't doing music? That's a good question, nephew. Damn. I don't know. <laughs> Lost in the sauce. Man, you'll be playing basketball. Yeah, I would be. That's why actually was his other passions besides making music. This nigga was a hooper, you hear me? I used to hoop. I loved the switch in there. I was a shooter too, so and I ain't miss. Right. I, still, I still hold the record at my school for uh six threes in the game and I got hurt in the third quarter, so I played two and a half quarters. Like do you think you love music enough that if you didn't make it, you still would do it? Yeah. Regardless of success, right? Regardless. It's it's that is therapy. Damn. That's something that makes me happy for real. Monetary shit don't really matter. Excuse my language. Monetary stuff really don't be mad mattering for real. Like, right, right. Hey, where we at? Like a PS Five don't do nothing to my soul. Music do like it moves me. Like creativity. They say you're not happy if you're not being creative. You know what I mean, that's one of that's the one of the keys to happiness that people neglect. They wonder why they stop playing basketball, whatever they love. They started being chasing being lawyers and doctors and all that. They be getting money, but they don't be happy. 
You know oh, what I'm saying? That's boring. I don't want to wake up and do that do that every day. Yeah, that's depressing. Like I want to be able to go through my day, experience some stuff, come to the studio, and give a vibe that nobody else can with my voice and how I'm flowing. And I want to be ear candy. You know what I'm saying? Well, I was about to say perfect, perfect, perfect ending for this ear candy, right? The the music make make it make women more stressful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. My life is. Yo. I can't really even sell my song to a female before they ask, "Who is you talking about?" I didn't do. Why? That's crazy, right? It's heck. So, what's three things you look for in a woman? A woman. Her mindset. Um, how she responds to your uh real personality, her, how she reacts to you, and if she mm. and the type of caregiver she is and she's really a true character right yo what what is he talking about get him out of here this ain't the time what is you <laughs> shut up oh, oh yeah yeah no for sure but that ain't the first thing he said something deeper than that yeah young boy you went straight for the feet yeah we feet boys over here your feet cannot be chopped get him out of here he just said you definitely, you definitely got to make a song about pretty feet for the women, bro. Oh, oh. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. That's okay. why I know he's just going to say cute feet. That threw us off, but I forgot what we was talking about at the moment. Yeah. All right, so what's your three, three turn-offs about women? Hygiene. What? Hygiene, a stank attitude. Damn. And someone that's not thoughtful. Right. Your compassion is on both lists for you, John. That's funny as shit. You was just, like that. That's on the top. But you listen, sound like you love it, like a person that treat people with respect. I'm feeling that. Real. I don't care how good you look. If you ain't treating people right, you can get it from around. Yeah, that's you. not right. real right. I mean, that's why we love Nina so much. She's so compassionate. Oh, oh, my bro. Yeah, yeah. My, my boy Wale is a hard artist out of Birmingham, Alabama. He rap. We making a tape soon, Y.L. and Ryel. Yeah. We're going to make that soon. He's fired up. Y'all should check him out. Right. What's his, what's his name? Uh, It's the Dead Man Y.L., but his rap name Y.L. <laughs> okay, the Dead Man Y.L. Yeah. Right. Follow my guy. Yeah. Real shit. Like, what about, like, if you can look at social media, you got to pick one as a, a nuisance or a benefit. What would you say? Social media, uh, what, uh, one more time. A, nu a nuisance or a benefit? A benefit. For sure. Right. But it can be a nuisance at the same time. Yeah, yeah, but it's about what's on your first mind. I asked him a question. Is everybody different? Like, if, you, if, you, if you're if an optimistic person, you're going to see the benefit. He went right for the benefit. You feel me? Hey, Amen, that's true. It's a gift right. and a curse, though. Definitely, definitely a gift and a curse. But if you use this platform for the right, like man, I ain't been on my my live since I ain't do an interview in the last month. Like I did, I want to do three interviews a month, but I ain't do nothing for the what I had since the beginning of June. I got three interviews done in the first week, so I ain't been on here since the first beginning of June. So, like you know, people go live just to go live. I only go live to interview dope talent. You gotta use this platform for the right thing. All right. That's all. You know what I mean, which the use of having it if you ain't gonna use it right. You feel me? Uh, you're right. So, you know what I mean? I, that's why I love these interviews. This joke will send a lot of shockwaves through the through the internet. I put this joke on YouTube after I'm finished. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm ready for that. I'm gonna repost it on mine, too. Yeah, I'm gonna chop it up. I get to chop it up all month and share different parts of it that I like the most. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. so this is. The second project. Your first one was called what? Ferris wheel, because life is a Ferris wheel. That's fire. He called that shit Ferris because the ups and downs, right? Right. So I got Ferris wheel. I, I'm going to do a eventful conversation. And then I got what I have tatted on my chest, which is, which is my brand and my label name is Motivated by Pain. I'm going to name my album Motivated by Pain. But hopefully, I, I willingly, by the time I drop that, I already be signed or something. Like, I already be some big stuff. Motivated by pain is the movement. It's over. Everybody shut the fuck up and get behind that. If you're not behind motivated by pain, they don't even 
It make no sense. What are we talking about here? That's what I be saying. Damn, that's what you said. Motivated by pain. I gotta, I gotta make a song called that. Right. MVP. Yeah, MVP. Motivated by pain. It's crazy. I always had this debate, man, ever since I was young about pain music versus, because I like to make club bangers. You know what I'm saying? I love club music that make people dance. And we just said that. Like, you ain't just have them dancing. You talked about real shit. Motivated by pain. He gets it. He blended it. On your come out, though, it took me 30 years to know to do both at the same time. Really? Right. I got my like my brother on one hand, like man, the real life songs hit your heart, man. Then we then we play the clubs and like, yo, this that shit though. So I always was like, it was always a tug of war with me, but you blended it. You smart, bro, from the rip. Thank you. I try. You gotta, you gotta be motivated by pain out this job. Like if you had one thing to say to the youth, what would it be? One thing I can say to the to the youth. Um don't Stop be smoking. Don't be <laughs> Don't <laughs> be shut up. I, 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 I tell them yeah, later. I tell them don't be delusional because maybe you could do it too. And always be confident and always know that if you put the effort in, you put the work in and not just dream about it, you can actually make it happen. Your brain will tap in, you'll tap in and be like, let's get this going. So that's what I do. Right. Perfect advice. I loved it. Thank you. I like it a lot. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, for real. I, can, well, I, like I like it. I like it. I like it. Right. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that's the song. Right. I, you know how we do. I'll pull up on you. Hey! Hey! If you had to eliminate one of your five senses, which one would it be? I was just talking about this the other day. What the heck? Uh, on the real, you want you want to be honest? Probably my taste. That's what I said, bro. Yeah, that. No, I think I said my smell. Same thing, I think. I don't care to smell. I don't care to smell nothing. <laughs> if you if you could be reincarnated as any animal, which animal would it be? Probably a lion, a lion or a tiger. Okay, lions and tigers and bears. Like the macaroni and cheese. Yeah. yeah. Real talk. All right, all right, we about to play Smash and Pass. Smash and Pass. Smash and Pass. Summer Walker. Pass. pass. Damn. Yeah, pass. I'm gonna ask you why. He's beautiful. Smash a, smash a pass. Ice spice. Smash what? Ice a little. Smash a pass. Corley Ray. Don't smash him. What? Is you feel it? Hey. He said. And then you got Corley Ray. What, what song she got? Uh, 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 uh. I just want to have a good night. I just yeah. want to have a good night. <laughs> you want to have a <laughs> One more, one more. Young Miami, smash your pass. Smash. I beat the brakes. Yeah. Damn, you play my last summer walker, man. But I feel you, though. I, I, I think I know why. <laughs> why you oh. Man, why? <laughs> That's crazy. He gave, he gave me three out of four smashes. Yeah. Damn. Pancakes or waffles? Um, pancakes. <laughs> ice cream or what ice? Ice cream. What? I'm going to let you rock. He going to say scissor. Smash your pass scissor. Scissor. We love scissor, though. That don't count. We not even, come on. Don't even say nothing, bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, I like this kid. I'm coming down there, Nina. He said, he said donuts and cookies. That's easy. I was huh? throwing the Philly and Atlanta party. Yeah, that's wavy, bro. Let's be out here. Everybody already lit. We out here. I think you should wait, Nina. Dad. That like, yeah. Oh, like, the, like the end of August is better. The end of August. Yeah. 
Right before the. This is gonna be a quick wait. Twenty first, he rolled him out. It is. Yeah, twenty second. See, see, I told you people be busy, man. Listen to me. Man, he say, that don't count, bro. You can't do money or love, bro. That's drawing, like money or love. I'm gonna pick love, cause love, love is money, bro. You get more money with that's 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 a corny comparison. Kind of with a girl, huh? You can make a whole bunch of money on YouTube with a girl or by yourself. Like, and you love, y'all can make YouTube really happen. Right. I think. If you try to do like some forcing shit, like you know, like some forcing, like relationships are not gonna work. Like, yeah, yeah, Lou, yo, yo, big better man? yourself. Hey, hey, right, hey, bro, I gotta tell you something, Kenny. That 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 classic you got, bro. You got banged it over here on, on the north side of the club. That yo. Boy. Okay, hey, that bro, that should have banged it, bro. Okay, we we'll preview on this new track from Rael. It's called Fast Life. Fast Life. Fast Life. On C R M G. B S P N. Either way, we win. What? Damn. That's my slogan, bro. I say a lot of what's and a lot of damn. What? Yo, it's the damn, damn guy, Philadelphia. It's probably because he's on the phone. Yeah, he, yeah, it's because he's on the phone. I can, I'm about to put that on. Oh, you can put it on. Oh, you can put it on in the wheel. I'm gonna put it on right now. You put that shit on right now. Here is clear. Last night, still remember last night. Die. From last night. Alright. Where uh nephew go? Yo. Hey. 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 Mutual joy, leak mutual joy. About the little people when you make it, man. Yo, Don't I forget know. about the little people. That's a really crazy. I can vouch for that. That's the Ralph Bianchi right there. He just went in and just like he just put. He just said that. Motiv it wasn't no Rick. He, he, was, he was motivated by pain. He was motivated by pain. MVP. This nigga, this nigga said, "Walk down, fast life, still recover for last night." <laughs> <laughs> Like, yeah. <laughs> nah, bro, that Yo. crazy, bro. Like, you gotta realize what you're doing. You mixing Atlanta with Philly, like that's heavy. Like you, he from bro, North you Carolina though. He from like, North Carolina though, Lou. Yeah, I know that. that, yeah. that make it even better. Like for you to know what niggas want here and what beat niggas want here. That that's everything right there. You already won. You Appreciate it. 
Yeah, I, I know it's something I different. Think, I, think, I think with this music stuff, you can't be too selfish. You gotta be selfish. Like, yeah, you doing it for yourself. I mean, everybody make music for their own like reasons, but I think for me, it's like being selfish and like, okay, I know I got enough common sense with females. I got enough game in life, or I'm talking to one of my bros. I had to sound, you know, intellectual. So at the end of the day, when you sit down and think about it, what the hell do niggas really gonna hear? What's really right. gonna be? I ain't no lame ass nigga. I know they gonna fight on this, so. Thanks. Right, you gotta have that type of mentality, and that should have fucked up. Can I ask you a question though, bro? What made you pick that beat? My boy Rain had that beat, and when he played in the studio, boy, Rain got that sauce. I almost dropped the tear <laughs> how it came on because it did come on like I'm hurting right now. Boom, that shit really brought me to something. Like I said, get him back to myself. It's the first step I yeah, need. Oh, that shit hurt. Yeah, like so ain't stepping on any brakes. Mm -hmm. Oh, he made that. He yeah, made my, that beat. My boy Rain made that. My boy Rain. Oh yeah, about to get rich, man. Yo, it's over. Right. Yeah. No okay. bit. Because you gotta realize, bro, that that beat is a lot of that 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 world. It's a lot happening right now in Philly. Like Philly got the wave right now. So for you to hop on that beat right now, that was like perfect timing. You feel right. what I'm saying? Like for real though. And I peeped that it got some type of drill vibe to it too. Like yeah. Got a little Uzi. Like yeah. the little bobbity bop. Like the hip, the hip wave. Like the hip wave. It's, 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 it's called the get sturdy. It's sturdy. You got that sturdy. The get sturdy bop. And I always wanted to like rap on a drill beat, but I'm like a little, like a nigga rap on a drill beat. So that's what I was like, damn, this really got that type of tempo to it. And I just float on that drum. I'm like, okay, this could be one that people dance to. It definitely yeah. got a drill bop to it too. Yeah, yeah dude. Right. So, okay. That's why, that's, that's why I said walk down. Pass up. Pass up. Pass up. Sure. Yeah. Niggas is still oh, come from last night. You get a load <laughs> of me, my cash, right? You want to smoke with me? No, no gas, gas like. I've been way out. I've been yeah, way out. Yeah. I'm feeding myself to the level that nobody's touching either. And you struggle at times, but nobody's perfect, including me. What? I promise you, I never let go. Something about you had me in a hole. Not for real. Something about you had me in a hole. Crazy. I love that nobody's touching neither. That, was like, that whole time, I didn't know he was from North Carolina, but I'm like, yo, that, that remind me of the baby, that part right there. Like, I'm like, yo. Nobody's touching neither. Oh, right. fuck that boy up. Yeah, you sound like the hood. That's that's love that you sound like where you from. Because artists don't sound like where they from a lot. You know what I'm saying? I knew that ain't sound like Atlanta. It didn't. I, I'm not from. It's not, I'm just here for more opportunities. Yes, sir. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know I, what I mean? I was born in Whiteville, North Carolina. And no one knows where that is. That's like two hours from um, Murder Beach. Ain't nothing but like cornfields and plant like you know what I'm saying. So it's like two thousand people that stay there. All trailer homes. You know what I'm saying. Damn. So I'm the first, first generation of that, and it's getting out, to not being scared, guys, so comfortable, leave all that, and willing to struggle and sleep in a whip at a certain time and stuff like oh, that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. And really finding, you know, my first manager here at a QT because I had to go use the bathroom. I, like stopped by there, and I happened to meet him, bro, and that just got me in a position to have a spot out here. And build up on my craft. I went through a little patch, but now yeah. I'm back. And I'm like really locked in. And I'm finding more faith in. So. so, so you know, you know, nephew got the clothing line better yourself promotions. So he gonna send you a package down there to start like wearing the videos and shit. You know what I'm saying? Thanks, thanks, thanks. I'm gonna send you. I got you. I'm gonna send you about. I'm gonna send you two hoodies, and the rest gonna be shirts, all different flavors, all different colors, bro. Tag you in that shit, right? I'm gonna rock this shit and tag nah, you. Nah, for sure, for sure. Definitely need that. This nigga, I, when he made the joke, he said she wanna smoke with me, my gas right. He fixed that joint and said she wanna smoke with me, no gas, like damn. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was crazy, bro. I said he a genius. <laughs> how you know to fix that yeah. part like that, God bro? Me, Man. What got me was I ain't know how he knew like to hop on that on that wave. Like you was talking your shit for a minute, then all you hear is walk down. Fast life, that shit was hard. Like the way you came right. on the beat, you creeped like you creeped on that, that shit. That shit was crazy. Reality thing on then you just bopped it off. Like, hold up. Yeah, hell yeah. Like I said, like, <laughs> that got, shit was hard. You got 88. I swear that's a plus for music, man. You don't stay on you just don't stay on one like top you just gotta switch. Everybody got different emotions and I got one more I got one more question before we get out of here, man. How do you feel about my questions? Oh, they fired. It's like if I was on TV, it's probably somebody would be asking. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Okay. If you, like, had, if you had one artist to fuck with in the industry, like to do a song with, who would you? Who would it be? He already 
Hey, but in the beginning, you missed it, Lil. You know I asked all the crazy questions, Boy, man. I'm just making sure. <laughs> I gotta make sure. Yeah, I, I, I said Drake, though. For Drake sure, for sure. sure. You do that. Yeah, you're like straight off the rip. Yeah. Shout out my guys, man. Philadelphia Gates, East Coast Half Nine for the Back Black Philadelphia mascot. With my guy, Rael, Nine yeah. Dime, yeah. Malik Scott Jr., Better Yourself, Promotions. Yeah. Motivated by pain. Nah, what? Man. Damn. <laughs> you already. Let's get it, bro. Get it for sure. Goddamn.